Hey guys, I'm Austin. I'm Ariel. Sega. I'm Brian. We're the Pixel Com Squad. And we're lost in a world or something. <laughs> and this and is we're... our first 1080p 60 frames per second <laughs> game that is best <laughs> played with a gamepad. <laughs> I, I thought we you... were playing Sega. What the fuck? <laughs> 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 Sega's anyway, my favorite video I, I'm game making a very character. big point that in the options, I turned the grass off. <laughs> this game, I'm playing the Steam version, and if you have the grass effects on, the game just crashes. <laughs> what? We're just jumping right in Yes, this, Ariel, this is, this is how the game starts. This cutscene has really good animation. The yeah, only cutscene. It, it looks pretty good, actually. <laughs> well, it's CG. Yeah, I mean, yes. <laughs> what well, else would Sonic it be? Games all, uh, Sonic games, like, whenever they have CG, it's usually really fucking good. Yeah, yeah I still remember the opening to Unleashed. That came oh out my god, god that is fucking amazing. <laughs> <laughs> So those animals are fucked, right? Like, yeah, they're dead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's that in the clouds? Uh, cloud? Water? <laughs> what? Yeah, Ariel, it's the Lost Hex. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad Tails knows where Ariel, are, are you ready for the lore? Don't. For me to dump the lore of the Lost Hex on you? I'm sure it's very expensive. <laughs> I just expansive. did. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's even more expansive than I expected. It has a name! <laughs> <coughs> anyway, fuck? so, this is the game that came after Generations. And I feel like this game would have gotten better reception if it came out after Forces. <laughs> Actually, probably. <laughs> because, um, after replaying this game years later, I don't despise it the way I used to. <laughs> <laughs> now you know how bad it could get! <laughs> well, I actually kind of like it now. I mean, it kind of- alright, coming from somebody who doesn't play Sonic, it kind of just looks like Sonic Mario Galaxy. It is. Yeah, so... Uh, like, but literally, to the point where the Ariel- to the point where belt. there's no momentum physics, but there's a run button. Oh, that's a little and, uh, weird for a Sonic game, isn't it? <laughs> it? It is, and it takes a lot of getting used to. <laughs> but, uh... It also has parkour. Hardcore parkour? Hardcore All parkour. Day, You're gonna day. see me fuck up a lot of hardcore parkour. <laughs> also, you have to save animals to unlock later levels. That's why I stopped to save animals. Aw oh, man, I'm so good at parkour. Hardcore parkour! <laughs> I was gonna ask! <laughs> yeah, it's... The parkour's... Okay sometimes, and aggravating at others. I didn't do a practice playthrough with this game like I usually do also, so this is almost completely blind. Wait, have you, have you never played through this game before? Like, yeah, like four or five years ago. <laughs> okay, right. And fair. this game's... I, I, I said I enjoy it now, but it's still super forgettable. Okay! <laughs> like, it's... Okay, it's not garbage like I used to think. Whoa. I always knew clouds were bouncy. I know, right? Here oh, I another thing about this game. When it first released on the Wii U, <laughs> um, you didn't get an extra life every hundred rings you get. Which well, is part of why weird. people hated it at launch, because it was <laughs> game over all the time. Are you supposed to be... No, what? I just wanted to show that animation. <laughs> what the what? It, it's to train you later. There's like diving sections where you can slow down and speed up. That's okay. This is where the game crashes <laughs> if you have grass effects on. <laughs> what? And that's only the grass effect. I want to see 
what these means of this glass of Every blade! Are. They don't even look very good. This game doesn't look very good, even at 4K. I mean, it's, I, I don't know why it would need 4K. Well, it has the option. I don't know why it would need 2K, honestly. <laughs> like, like the NBA games? <laughs> Because <laughs> I guess I agree. Sonic, did you get those animals back from Eddie? Yo, so no, I they're really dead, Amy, but listen. I really don't like <laughs> Amy's voice. Yeah, no, that's pretty <laughs> shit. <laughs> Guys, do you, wanna, do you want Anime Girl mixed with Minnie Mouse? Because we got it. <laughs> yeah, for real. Which is, is weird because she sounds fine in Sonic Boom. <laughs> Say, doesn't actress. she normally have a relatively normal girl voice? <laughs> yeah, well, it's still high pitched, but it's not. Like... Yeah, not, not. I mean, that's that's. I mean, I guess the whole game is cartoonish, but that's cartoonish. It's <laughs> too cartoonish. Yeah. <laughs> Although to be fair, this entire game was written in America. <laughs> oh. And America thinks that she needed to have a higher voice. Uh, apparently, uh, Pontac and Graf, the writers for this game, yet yeah, thought so. But why, though? Oh, I love Eggman's base. <laughs> Look at this. Highly detailed base. <laughs> Hello, Bowser. How are you? <laughs> Yo, so something that fucked me up, those spikes, those red spikes aren't his mouth. His mouth's under that. His face is what? just completely black. What the is that fuck? his beard? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone on Twitter, I follow on Twitter, made a render of it without the red, and it's disgusting. <laughs> what? Oh man, guys, look at all those characters in shadow that definitely aren't on the box art. <laughs> you also definitely can just straight up see them. Yeah. <laughs> Also, the they had eight different trailers. <laughs> yes. I know that because I had to edit them in <laughs> because of how long you guys ranted about this game <laughs> in, our top, in our 18 games podcast. Which is funny because I don't hate it anymore. <laughs> yeah. Although to be fair, it was mostly the characters or the dead. Yeah, seven. Uh, no, I still hate them and the story, which there's barely one. I mean, As you can tell by the lore story. behind the Lost X. <laughs> it just shows up? It's just there. I feel like they were trying to create, like, the Sonic CD thing where Little Planet just showed up and nobody banned an eye there! <laughs> yeah, but there was actual story in the manual about Little Planet. <laughs> Did you check the yeah, manual? <laughs> well, it's back for the Genesis, maybe. <laughs> what the hell was yelling at you? That's the boss. We're already fighting a boss. The bosses in this game all suck, by the way. <laughs> yes, I, I know. That's what you were ranting about. <laughs> well, you're gonna... God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> also, the Wisps came back in this game, and... They're the worst part of this game. <laughs> I also thought you were gonna end your sentence right there. <laughs> Is there no. a good part of this, of this game? Yeah. I actually like the 2D sections. Just I usually hate 2D sections in 3D Sonic games, but honestly with the run button, being able to control it like that, it works pretty well. Why are we fighting the sun from Soul Eater? We're fighting Majora's Mask <laughs> mentally handicapped cousin. We're fighting what? Jinx's persona. With no, the, it's Zaz. The son from Soul Eater. <laughs> Who is cosplaying as a moon. I've never seen that moon attack. <laughs> Guys, I did it. Well, He's it. dead. I did it. <laughs> Alright, okay. Alright, look. I know these games. I'm, I'm sure you guys have thought this too. Mario and Sonic are intended... For a younger audience, I get that. But they know that most of their fan base is, you know, and older. Well, even then, the it older games had harder like... bosses like this. Yeah, it seems <laughs> like this is literally not even seven-year-old. This is baby, baby yeah. level. 
Like that was way <laughs> too easy. <coughs> Back in my Wait, day. Wait, you see the rest of the bosses? They're basically the same thing. Back in my day, figuring out how to kill a boss for the first time was a challenge. You had to guess and die and guess and die and guess and die. <laughs> and well, sometimes you game, had it right the first time and it just didn't work. Even in some <laughs> generations, they were somewhat challenging. <laughs> I also really so, don't like that they reused basically every enemy from older games. What is this deal, Gia? <laughs> is it nostalgic when it's in every single game? Uh, I, I, I Although know. I guess Forces has new enemies, but they're just ugly egg bonds. <laughs> Get him. Oh boy, we got the Cyan with. It's oh, the yeah. only one that isn't terrible because it lasts two seconds. <laughs> oh my god, wait till you see Rhythm. That's the new wisp in this game. No. Ugh. Is, is that the one shaped like a musical note? Yes. I did that on purpose. He <laughs> wasn't about to die. Are you sure? Obviously you did it for style, and stylish it looked. So I do like these earlier levels where you can kind of like spin dash the way you would boost in the, old, in the Generations and Unleashed. Yeah. Oh no, I'm in the goo. <laughs> Not the tar, that's what killed the dinosaurs. <laughs> so, this game has this weird, like, multi lock on homing attack. The more it locks on, the more damage you do. Oh, they're doing the shot locks from Birth by Sleep. <laughs> ah! See, I don't like that game, and I don't like this in this game. <laughs> And it, honestly, it got carried over to three, too. Oh. Not very much. Like, it's- you can literally beat the entire game without ever using them. And technically, you can do that in both games, but still. <laughs> yeah, that parkour! <laughs> I definitely meant to do that. <laughs> so, oh, I actually oh, oh. fuck up here. Apparently, to get the last red ring, you have to go down the easy, normal path instead of the parkour path. That doesn't... I, uh... That's weird. And you have to go down the parkour path. <laughs> right, so well, what? Just Do you just go back? <laughs> yeah, you have, to, you have to go backwards, you have to play the level twice. Mm -hmm. Which, it's better than um, Sky Sanctuary and Generations, where you have to play the level three times. <laughs> So these bells, they're actually timed. If you take too long to hit them again, they disappear and you lose the red ring. Yeah, that, um. that sounds like a similar mechanic in Mario games, yes. <laughs> yeah, just like the red coins. Yeah. They could have at least made them a different Errol, this color. game was made as part of a three-game deal with Nintendo. Well, I mean, that would do it, I guess. Sonic Boom was one of those games. <laughs> that would no! also do it. <laughs> Which is actually part of why that game's so bad. It was I mean, originally being developed for 360 and... P oh no, Xbox One and PlayStation 4. And then they surprised the devs, were like, Hey, we have to make it for the Nintendo Wii U. And they were like, this engine's literally not compatible with the Wii U. <laughs> oh, he said Baldy McNose hair, Brian. Yay, I'm fulfilled now. And they are your worst enemy. I guess one compliment I could give the Deadly Six. You can tell their personalities just by their silhouettes. I don't I mean, even know if that counts as a silhouette. Well, if you completely black them out, you could still tell the fat one's the fat dumb one. Wow, really? <laughs> yeah. You can also tell Xena's the girl in her soul. <laughs> oh, I guess we're not just gonna gang up on him. Sonic's literally beaten gods of destruction, but okay. Yeah. I hate Sonic's yeah. lips. I know the spot <laughs> lips? 
fuck? You could see oh, like shit! Brown. I didn't see them before! <laughs> it's like brown <laughs> around his lips. Why would you point that out? <laughs> it's only in this game. It's also terrible. What's your point? <laughs> I do like Windy Hill's thing. I, I will say, yeah. at least with this being some weird ass kingdom floating in the sky, it doesn't make me wonder how anyone else in the world gets around. Yeah, but how did. But the Deadly Six live here. How did they get around? I don't know. They hardcore parkour. Also, Ariel, you're going to question when we get to the casino level why this alien world above the planet that no one's ever been to has a Sonic and Tails themed casino. <laughs> well, they're big fans, obviously. <laughs> the, <they're not. laughs> That's just what they want you to think because they're shy. <laughs> I don't like the multi-lock-on homing. It's not the locking onto one enemy, but when you lock onto multiple enemies, like, uh, Sonic will hit all of them at once. It does this- the homing attack does this weird arc, and it just takes a while. I don't like it. That was also very 3D Mario-esque. <laughs> Mario homing attacks? No, the- the- <laughs> When you were going through the underground tunnel and the black oh, circle just yeah, showed I guess, up. I guess it is. <laughs> this game does a lot of things, introduces a lot of things that become way worse in forces. <laughs> like, um, there's hidden springs. Okay, you can see I'm still not used to the controls here. Yeah, you seem to be really Because this struggling. is very simple and I'm fucking it up. <laughs> But, uh, there's hidden springs, like you'll just be walking and a spring will pop up. It's a little annoying in this game, and in forces, it's just everywhere. Yeah, they love that shit. Gravity, though, what's that? Gravity? Uh, <laughs> some kind of topping. <laughs> I mean, I kind of like the the spinning, like, world. It looks neat, even though it makes no sense. Yeah, no, it doesn't, it doesn't look bad, it just... You know, it was kind of more, I guess, organic in Mario Galaxy, because you're like, oh, because oh, it's just space. a planet. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. they, they, they built it around the fact that it's like, well, gravity's doing all sorts of things, we're in space. Doesn't have to make sense. <laughs> Nobody understands space! <laughs> well, kids certainly don't. <laughs> well, this game's made for babies, and babies don't understand how gravity works. Yeah, we Peggy 7 means don't play this if you're over 7. <laughs> Ariel, what are you trying to say about me? <laughs> I'm saying you're too old She's for this you're game? Breaking I don't rules. know. <laughs> well, how could you say that? It gets really fucking hard at the end. <laughs> But not the boss fights. That'd be that'd be too that'd be too much. That would make sense. It was me. <laughs> it was me. <laughs> I literally heard nothing else except it was me. So yeah, I I tune them out in the levels mostly because they're annoying. <laughs> also, if you die, they they repeat the same things. Ugh. Like if you're gonna make us listen to them, at least give them a variety. Jesus. <laughs> Okay, fast. what the hell is that I thing? I don't know, but <laughs> it's Considering he can just dash. walk faster than you spinning, he's gotta be some kind of super creature. I mean, Eggman- <laughs> Ed, Ariel, in Sonic 2, Eggman runs faster than Sonic. Yeah, I, I've seen that, but I would've thought that in modern games they would've avoided that. Oh, um, no. There's a tornado <laughs> later on, and it slows down if you move too slow. <laughs> <laughs> But is it carrying a car? Now the only reason I'm getting hit is because I'm trying to spin dash instead of run. <laughs> ah, and that was just what me that holding time? left. <laughs> Are you going to die? <laughs> no, Brian, I'm not going to die. Alright. I do die to the final boss, but that's because I get really impatient. <laughs> or not the final boss, but the penultimate boss. Hmm. We did it. We beat the world one. Right. Oh, Sonic and Tails are dicks in this game, by the way. <laughs> I built 
the TV out of paper clips. Yeah. And reprogrammed a supercomputer using dishwashing detergent. Why no, you did. What is he? <laughs> why is he going on about this? <laughs> difficult as taking a nap. You're just a super <laughs> a fucking asshole. <laughs> We both managed to use a clip okay, from the same era of JonTron. <laughs> yeah, fuck you for being interested in things, you stupid bitch. <laughs> cool. All right, let's leave forever. I don't care what's happening. Here. I can't <laughs> wait until we get to the later parts in this game. <laughs> Ariel, you remember the Deathly Hollows? Yeah. Do you remember Ron and the Deathly Hollows? Where he gets all. Thanks, Steve, because he's Yeah, Tails does that. Oh, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's so original. 